I am Olga Yurkova, uh, co-founder of stopfake.org, a fact-checking website, a Ukrainian website that reveals false information in media about events in Ukraine. We also conduct research on the topic and um, learn propaganda as a phenomenon. Uh, there are three main rules of how this information works. Uh, the first one is selection. Only those facts, photos, videos or um, quotations that fit your story and omit uh, other um, details. The second one is um, dealing with this information, adding emotional music and uh, emotional um, intonation of presenter. And this, the third and most important one is uh, uh, dissemination. To spread some uh, disinformation piece of news, um, propagandists just put it on different uh, news sources, including not only large media outlets like Russia Today or Sputnik, uh, but also Facebook groups, troll farms, uh, thousands of bots, um, some uh, pro-Russian uh, mouthpieces in, uh, invest in the West. The most uh, famous story uh, and the most noticeable one is uh, the story about um, a crucified boy. In 2014, the story was um, broadcasted by a state TV channel, a Russian first TV channel, uh, on primetime news. And uh, they uh, told about uh, Ukrainian soldiers. Uh, they reportedly crucified a three-year-old boy in Slovansk city in eastern Ukraine, when they um, entered the city. In reality, the crucifixion never happened, because um, all this piece of news was based on, on the words only one witness, uh, and she was a wife of pro-Russian militant in, in Donbass. When you want to detect fake news, it's very simple. Just Google it. Sometimes it takes seconds, even not minutes, to check uh, some particular piece of news in uh, different sources of information. And uh, the second um, uh, piece of advice is to uh, create your own list of verifiable sources of information. And if you read disinformation or fake news on some uh, source of information like media or g Facebook group or so on, just uh, stop trust and think twice before you uh, share some information. <laughs> <laughs>